G'day, welcome back to the Forty channel. So when it comes to your rear handbrake or your park brake, there's actually really only three options. One, the easiest and cheapest, wheel jock. Jam it up the back wheel and hopefully it'll hold your 40 series where it needs to go and won't roll away. The second one is a full 60 series conversion with a handbrake on the floor, bigger drums, or the other option that I've also seen is rear disc brakes. So full conversion style. Or the final version, if you want to be a purist and you want to keep everything simple and easy. On a rebuild on the original park brake. So let's have a look at how we did it. It's going to be a quick video today, not a great deal of talking, but I tried to capture all the detail and all the process in, in rebuilding your rear park brake. Let's get into it and see how it's done. The handbrake. Right, a. First thing we're going to do is just going to slide in our handbrake cable. Right, I've got our little support pins. So with the support pins, we push them through with a little horseshoe clip. Put that port pin in. There was a lot of corrosion protection on there, so I've just cleaned that up to help give me a little bit of room to get that in place. Push down so you're pushing up against the wave washer on the the wave washer on the back. So you need to push pretty hard down. Get a little horseshoe clip. Put the horseshoe clip on about or as hard as you can with your fingers. And then with some mouldy grips, we'll be able to squeeze that into place so it clips in. And then just close that horseshoe up on the end. Just like that. Right, uh, we'll push that spring back. Now we'll be able to locate our handbrake cable into the back of the clip. Pull that all back. Right, we're just going to sit that in place just like that. And what we need now, all right, our retaining washer. Just going to use a new little circlip that goes all the way onto the end. Make sure that's nicely and tight in place. All right, we get our little retaining pins. We slide them in through the back. There's a hole just at the back there. They will come right through to here. And then our retaining spring clip. Give it a little bit of a push and a spin. Okay, that's sort of holding all that in place now. Right, uh, now we have our adjusting mechanism here. Now this adjusts our brakes. So what we need to do here is put that in between the two. Close 
Close that up. Okay, we've got two springs. All right, so your spring will go around the top of this and then stretch in to this hole just here. Here's some little moldy grips so it won't Move that spring right to the front. Slip the next spring on. Put our bottom spring here. It'll go onto these two holes here. Again, we're gonna have a bit of a battle. Righto, that's it. Now we can put our cover plate over and we can use this part here to adjust it out. So when we turn, turn the nut on the back, that'll push this out clip by clip. And that's how we can adjust our handbrake. Righto, that's it. The rear park brake's all done. The quickest and easiest way to see if it's going to be okay is you just can pull on this cable as tight as you can. And if it doesn't spin, you're pretty much halfway there. The rest of the adjustment will have to be done. <laughs> the rest of the adjustment will have to be done when it's actually in the vehicle and all hooked up. You can adjust it just to the back there. What we'll do is we'll adjust it all the way out so it actually binds and you can't spin it at all and then back it off three little clicks pretty simple really anyway that's it so the motor's done the drive line's pretty much all done it's ready to go back on the 1965 fire truck but we're actually going to take a small little break on some of this stuff and we're actually going to look at my next project because something big is coming up and i've thrown myself in the deep end and I have to get some stuff prepared for the old Troopy. Anyway guys, take care of yourselves. Thanks so much for your support. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And until next time, take care of yourselves.